Hey everybody, welcome back once again. So um, today I um, was in church and I was listening to the pastor who's preaching on salvation. And what really stood out to me is, you know, he was talking about, you know, all oh, we are like sheep that have gone astray. You know, we're all sinners who have gone astray. Um, um, and, you know, it made me think about, you know, the parable of the lost sheep, you know, um, and how we have, you know, uh, gone astray, but God, you know, comes for, for us, you know, he comes looking for us, though we have gone astray, and so, um, this, you know, really lays heavy on my heart, because it's, you know, like, I know that, you know, I reach out to a lot of people, you know, and, for me, it means a lot to me when you reach out for a lot of people, but what really laid heavy on my heart is, you know, when you're reaching out to so many people that the one person that you really want to reach out to kind of goes astray, and so uh, this is what um, really drew heavy to me because, you know, it's like um, I had I wrote it down uh, in church, you know, because you know, I always take notes, but it says, you know, uh, when you love someone, it doesn't matter how many others you can bring to Christ. If you don't have that one, you will go out of your way to get that one. Uh, there will be nothing that will stop you until you find, uh, that sheep until he is returned home and safe. Um, and so I was just, you know, thinking about, uh, some circumstances in my life, you know, where, you know, uh, I love doing what I do, you know, I love doing what I do. Um, and, but the burden, you know, the pain and the heartache of that just one, you know, person, you know, I just thought about how, uh, you know, heavy it is on God's heart. Cause I mean, I care about people in a whole. I talk to so many different people. I build different relationships with so many different people, but then you have that one person, you know, that is just like straying off and you're just like, wow, 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 wow. You know, like even though they're just one, you know, they mean something, you know, they're very valuable, you know? Um, and so, uh, it really, you know, Ooh, like laid on me heavy this morning, uh, you know, with circumstances in my life, because, you know, like I know that I can be really busy in, you know, the things that I'm doing, um, you know, and, uh, that, you know, you tend to, uh, sometimes bypass some things, you know, you never, uh, y you never know, you know, you, you sometimes you, you tend to bypass some things, you know, if you're not careful, if you don't watch out. Uh, so I'm going to read uh, uh, Luke 15. And so it says, then all the tax collectors and the sinners drew near to him, uh, to hear him being Jesus. And the Pharisees and the scribes complained, saying, this man receives sinners and eats with them. So he spoke at, uh, this parable to them saying, what man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulder, rejoicing, and he comes home he calls together his friends and his neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found my lost sheep, which was lost. I say to you that likewise there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine just persons who need no repentance. Wow. Wow. Um, it, and I know it's like, it's chewing me up this morning, you guys. It's chewing me up. Um, I want to start off with this. Um, the tax collectors, you know, the religious people, they didn't understand, uh, because he ate with sinners, uh, you know, and, you know, I, I've had, I, 
you know, some days I've had a lot of that, you know, because I talk to, you know, the undesirable people as people like to say, but I remember being an undesirable person, uh, when nobody wanted to speak to me because I was such a, a sinner, you know, I was a big sinner, you know, cause I'm categorized in the big sinner group because, you know, harlotry, you know, Ooh, I'm the big sinner, you know, cause a lie is not a sin, it's a sin. Um, and so, you know, the Pharisees complained, you know, um, this man receives sinners and eats with them, you know, so he spoke this parable to them saying, you know, uh, you know, about the shepherd, you know, if you had all these sheep, if you had this big flock and one just got lost, you know, would you go after it? You know, and we all just think about, you know, think about your children, think about your child. If you had, you know, four children and one of your children gets lost, are you going to be worried and try to go search out and find your child? Yes, you will. Because, you know, you know that the rest are home and are safe. But that one is out there lost. And you're searching for that one. You know, you want them home safe. You know, I remember uh, being a teenage runaway. You know, I always ran away. Oh, my gosh, I ran away. And I bet my grandma could not sleep, you know. Nowadays, I, I know that she could not sleep, you know. And, and sometimes I think about my faith journeys and where God has me, like, travel halfway across the country and no one knows what's going to happen in the process of it. Like, I don't know how people sleep because even for me, some of those nights, like, it's, it's you know, it's crazy for me because some nights I just don't get no sleep because I'm wondering what God's going to do next or you know, what's going to happen or who I'm going to speak to in the process. And so, you know, you just think about, you know, what, you know, sometimes we get a lot of worry, we get a lot of anxious and, you know, like I, I just been thinking about in my life, you know, like I'm, I'm ministering to a lot of people on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, and, you know, I've seen, you know, this one person who's like lay really heavy on my chest, you know, just dwindle, you know, away. And this is why this, this parable really hit me hard because just watching, you know, like here I am, you know, talking to all these people while I'm slowly watching this one person like stray, stray, stray. And like the weight of it, you know, just thinking about how heavy the burden is on God, you know, when, you know, he has all these people who are worshiping and, and, and loving God, you know, and, and are seeking God, but yet there is this sinner who's out here, who's straying away, who is lost in the world, who's getting lost in the world. You know, we can uh, sit there and preach to the choir all day, uh, but what about the person, you know, and, and sometimes, you know, like, you know, that hits me hard because, you know, I think about, you know, I do a lot of my ministry, but was I, you know, like, I feel like, was I ministering or, you know, being loving or being understanding to a certain point where, you know, how did I miss, you know, them straying away or how did I miss this? You know, like, you just think about a shepherd, you know, like, here he is caring for his flock, you know, thinking he's got everything together, got everything together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, 99, 90, 99, you know, like thinking, okay, I got it all together. I got it all together. What? <laughs> no. What do you mean? I, I don't have it all together. Where's, where, where is sheep number a hundred? You know, where is so-and-so? Where is so-and-so? What, what happened? So we, you know, at, at, you had it all together. You had it all. I had, okay. I gotta go find my sheep. I gotta go find my sheep. What happened to my sheep? You know, like, all right. I got it all together, you know, and, and it can be so, you know, like, you know, I had this, you know, um, and so it just lays heavy, but it says that, you know, the man does not, he said, you know, he says right here, if he loses one of them, does not leave the 99 in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it. So he leaves the 99 just for the one, you know, sometimes you got to leave what it is that's on your plate 
you know, that's safe and secure, you know, it's safe and secure that it's not going anywhere just to tend that one. You know, I think about me, I really needed extra love because I felt like no one loved me, you know? I needed that extra love. I needed that extra attention. You know, I was in a flock. You know, I'm the oldest of seven kids. You feel what I'm saying? But obviously, I'm not acting, you know, out for my health. You know, I'm acting out because I need something. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going astray. I need that extra, okay, search for me, look for me. I'm out here, find me. You feel what I'm saying? But you're not giving me that. You know, you're not giving me that. You're just locking me up. You're just. You know, how is this showing me that you, you know, you're loving me? Yeah, I, I I understand there's consequences to my actions, but I need the love. You feel what I'm saying? Not the, okay, okay, we love you. You're going to, um, you're going to act up and then we're going to lock you up and then you're going to get out and then we're still not going to give you the love you need. And then you're going to run away. And then you're going to get locked back up and you're still not going to get the love you need. So, you know, like we tend to, you know, okay, as long as, 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 you know, we have the flock all together, you know, we don't need to just have the flock all together. Are we caring for our flock there? You know, Jesus was talking to them because he's like the Pharisees complained saying this man receives sinners and eats with them. He was taking the time out for them. He was making sure he had the time for them to love them, to eat with them, not just make them just feel like just another flock, just to make them feel like people. They are people too. You feel what I'm saying? I need someone to realize I'm a person too. I need time spent with me. You feel what I'm saying? Don't count me as just another number in the flock. I want to be known as someone special, someone important, someone, you know, just don't treat me like the rest of the flock. Oh my God, I'm tearing myself up. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Lord. Lord, um, my God. And, um, my God, who? And basically, you know, he goes out and he goes out and he and he he takes his time to go reach out for this one because this one is lost. This one needs that extra love. This one needs that extra attention. That one needs that extra time. My God, my God, who this is ministering to me this morning, my God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, this is so good. And uh, it says, and when he has found it, he lays him on his shoulder and he's rejoicing because he sat there and took his time to go reach out. He sat there and took the needed time that needed to be taken, that no one else was taking. You know, he wanted to make sure that his sheep came home. And not only that, he rejoiced, but he also rejoiced with his friends and his family to let them know, look, yeah, I have all this flock, all my flock is together, but look, this one came home, you know, this one was lost, you know, but this one came home. So, um, I just want to challenge you guys, you know, maybe there is, you know, things in your life where you have had everything together, but maybe there has been maybe a person in your life, maybe a child, maybe a family member, maybe something in your life, uh, maybe a spouse, you know, maybe a loved one, someone uh, that you've been fo so focused on something else uh, that you haven't been realizing that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninety nine, your your sheep's missing. Your sheep's out there. Your sheep is looking for something that you could give them, but because some reason they have gone astray. Uh, maybe you're not giving them the right amount of love that they need. You know, uh, God is love. So if you know God, uh, you should know that you should be loving and caring and loving them, but not throwing the gospel at them, uh, you know, but loving and caring them, you know, giving them that time that they need, that love that they need, you know, uh, because people, uh, people tend to go astray, you know, when, um, 
we're not paying attention because we're so focused on other things. Uh, so I just encourage you guys and challenge you uh, to, you know, spend that time with that one who uh, is like a sheep that has gone astray instead of throwing the gospel down their throat, just love and care for them. And um, so that maybe they'll come home, you know, um, and if you do not know Christ today, um, you do not know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, I know that, you know, if, if you've gone astray, God is uh, using me to tell you that um, he loves you and he's searching for you, that one, you know, there's millions of people in the world, but he's looking for you you he's looking for you you know and he just wants you to come home to him with his other sheep and he loves you and he cares about you I remember when I was in the world you know cuz I'm a big sinner um you know I was in the world I just said, want somebody to love me love me God saw me and he loved me Though he had all these people who were worshiping him and caring about him and sitting up in the church and just loving him and praising him and everything. God still saw me on that street corner. Hey, Jazz. Coming for you. I see you going straight there. Though he saw me running away on the streets. Hey, Jazz. <laughs> hey. <laughs> though you're smoking that weed. Though you're drinking your drink. Hey, Jazz. Hey, you want to be my friend? You want to sit down and eat with me? You want to take some time with me? I love you. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Oh, this is eating me up. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You know, we are all sinners. You know, the Bible says that we all fall short of the glory of God. Everyone is a sinner. And everyone needs Jesus Christ in their life. So if you don't know Jesus Christ today as your personal Lord and Savior, I just encourage you today uh, to acknowledge that you're a sinner. Uh, acknowledge that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and that he loves you. And he sees you, you know. Uh, change doesn't come overnight, you know. But take that one step. Salvation is that first step towards change. You know, giving your life to Christ, you know. The Bible says, for whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Call upon the name of the Lord of name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and he will save you from your sin. He will bring you home. He will make you comfortable. And you will not just be another number. Because he sees you missing. Ninety nine? A hundred? Oh, he knows you're missing and he's looking for you. God is looking for you. He knows you're missing. So I thank you guys so much for tuning in. And, um, you know, we should be like Christ. And when we see someone going missing and going astray, um, we need to go after them with love and with kindness. All right, you guys. God bless.